Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be dealing with a nice cubic equation. We've probably done a similar problem before. I hope I haven't made the same problem. If I did, I apologize. And if you can find the video, let me know. So we have a cubed minus b cubed minus 3ab equals 1. And we're going to be solving for a minus b. Now, there's no specification about a and b being integers or natural numbers. a and b are real numbers. Okay, that's the only requirement we have. So how do you solve a single equation with real solutions? Well, we have to use a special approach. So I'll try to present two approaches and I'll also show you something that is, anyways, let's talk about it. So let's start with the first method, sort of. I wanna go ahead and set a minus b equal to x because since I'm looking for a minus b, let's set it equal to something. Now, cube both sides. That gives us the following. I usually write a different version of this. I write it as a cubed minus b cubed minus 3ab multiplied by a minus b, which is very helpful most of the time. And this is equal to x cubed, right? Cool. One thing that I want you to notice that a minus b is x, so this is also x. What does that mean? It means that if you put the stuff on the right hand side and leave this on the left hand side and then switch sides this is what we're going to get x cubed plus 3abx equals a cubed minus b cubed if you dealt with the cubic formula before you probably know where this goes if not that's okay we'll talk about it now we got something interesting because this is a cubed minus b cubed but wait a minute, we were given an identity, an equation. So we can go ahead and isolate a cubed minus b cubed from here. And we can write it as 3ab plus 1. So now this can be written as 3ab plus 1. Make sense? Now with that, we can go ahead and rewrite this. Forget about this expression now. We don't need it anymore. Go away. And now we get the following. Now this is nice because now we can go ahead and put everything on the same side, but be careful when you do that because I want to pair up these two first and then these two, okay? So that uh, we can take out a common factor and factor the whole thing. So it's equal to zero. And for these two terms, this is a difference of two cubes. There's a formula x minus one, x squared plus x plus one. And then these two, we can factor out a 3ab, and that'll be x minus 1. Great. Now, x minus 1 is a common factor. Maybe that's something that I should have specified. I don't know, because that would imply x equals 1. Wait a minute. Anyways, let's talk about it. So we factor out x minus 1, and that gives us x squared plus x plus 1 plus 3ab equals 0. Now, from here, we get two different things. First... This is 0, so x is equal to 1. And if this is 0, then we have to deal with the quadratic equation. Uh-oh, let's find out. Negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 1, minus 4 times 1 times c. c is this number right here, or that expression. It'll be like this. And divided by 2. Now, what do you make of this? Not much. First of all, we got to remember that we are looking for a minus b and we set a minus b equal to x. So this is like a minus b, but we have a's and b's on both sides. So that's the problem. Even if you expand it, this is going to become negative 3 minus 12 ab. I don't think you're going to be able to get a minus b from here. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is not really getting anywhere as far as I can see. So we kind of need to stick with x equals 1. And remember, x is a minus b, and we were looking for x, or a minus b. So the answer is 1. Good. Okay. What about another way to approach the problem? By the way, i got to tell you something. Uh, you could actually take it from here. Now take a look at this real well. We have x squared plus x plus 1 plus 3ab equals 0. So I'm going to do a little bit of hocus pocus. Are you ready? First of all, remember that x is a minus b, so I can write it as a minus b squared plus a minus b plus 1 
plus 3ab is equal to 0. So this is actually the equation that I was trying to get from the cubic uh, by way of substitution, of course. And now we can go ahead and expand everything. Let's do it. a squared minus 2ab plus b squared plus a minus b plus 1 plus 3ab equals 0. This kind of looks messy, but I'll tell you something. We can go ahead and multiply both sides by 2. In other words, we're going to double the whole thing. That gives us 2a squared, right? And then, uh, let me see. Oh, I forgot to do something before that. Yeah, I realize now, okay, why is this not working well? So here's what we're going to do first. We, we're going to simplify it because these ter two terms simplify. So that gives us a squared plus ab, negative 2 plus 3. And then we'll continue with the rest. Okay. And then we'll multiply by 2, which makes more sense now, hopefully. And now this is going to give me 2a squared plus 2ab plus 2b squared plus 2a minus 2b plus 2 equals 0. Why did we do that? There's a good reason. We're going to go ahead and now split the terms. Like I'm going to pick a squared and pair it up with 2ab. And then I'll pick b squared, add it up. And now this gives me a perfect square. And just that's just perfect. I have a squared left here. I can take that. I have a 2a, I can take that, I can take one of the twos, I mean one, half of two, which is one, and then continue with b squared, because I already only used one of them, and they're just similarly minus 2b, or not 2b, sorry, I had to make that joke, and that's my whole thing. Now, this is really cool, because take a look at this, this is sum of squares. Nice. That's the best, uh, a plus b squared, plus a plus 1 squared, plus b minus 1 squared. Of course, there is a good reason why this comes up. It has to do with the original problem. Now, from here, because we're looking for real solutions, we don't care about complex solutions. You can only get uh, a sum of squares uh, with 0 if everything is 0, right? If x squared plus y squared is 0, then x and y have to be 0 if they're real numbers. Good. Now, from here, we get the following. a equals negative b, a equals negative 1, b equals 1, which is always satisfied with uh, like three equations so they're consistent and that gives us the value a is negative one b is one but we're we're looking for a minus b equals negative two uh oh we got another value for a minus b which is nice right cool cool now alternatively you can approach this problem just a little differently and take it from here let's open up a new page so start with a squared plus a b plus b squared plus a minus b plus 1 equals 0. So you didn't have to multiply both sides by 2. You could also do the following, which is quite complicated, I have to tell you. a squared over 2 plus ab. So my goal is going to be, because I need to take half of that, because I'm going to need it for another piece, and I need to add something so I can complete the square, and that will be b squared over 2. You're going to realize what that looks like when I finish this up. And then the rest is going to continue like this. a squared over 2 minus... Let me just show you this part, and then hopefully you can do the rest. Uh, the rest should be fairly easy. Um, but this part is actually a over root 2 plus b over root 2 squared. And from here, you again get a equals negative b, which clearly justifies multiplication by 2, right? Okay, let's talk about second method real quick, because that's for you to do. Uh, unfortunately, if a video is too long, then people don't like watching it, so on and so forth. So we kind of need to follow the uh, whatever it's called. Okay, so where does that come from, right? I remember, uh, I was able to write this part, which let me explain real quick. This part can be written as this minus this. And it's equal to 1. So I just substituted that. And from here, you can do the following directly. This is more direct, and you don't need substitution for this because uh, it's just going to work. Uh, so we're going to pair up these terms again. And now factor, this will be as like a difference of two squares. This is going to be like a common factor, so on and so forth. And you're going to get the same answers from there. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you. Next time in the other video, until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.